Nap time is happy hour. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, in our Wellness Wednesday segment, our friend Dr. Mike talks with us about how to get better sleep. Enjoy. Do you lie at night in your bed, tossing and turning, not being able to fall asleep? Do you wake up in the night not able to fall back asleep? Do you wake up in the morning feeling not so refreshed, fatigued throughout the day? Well, do I have an answer for you. Introducing the revolutionary new Magic Sleep Powder. Introducing the revolutionary new Magic Sleep Tea. Essential oil, Magic Sleep Juice, Magic Sleep Pillow. Drool included. I know that seems crazy. Magic pills, potions, even pillows to help you get a good night's rest. But that's what companies are selling, and I'm dead against that. I want to give you the proper evidence-based tips to help you get a good night's rest. Let's chat about all the things you need to do during the day before the night even starts to make sure you get a good night's sleep. Number one, exercise. You know it sounds crazy, but physical activity improves the quality of your sleep and extends its duration. So even if you're only going out for a 10 minute brisk walk, do it. Morning, night, evening, it doesn't matter. Get your physical activity. Number two is diet. First and foremost, you wanna avoid eating too close to bedtime because that can stimulate your gastric juices and make you really uncomfortable when you're going to bed. On top of that, you wanna avoid spicy foods, overly citrusy foods, and something that a lot of people do before going to sleep, that's alcohol. Because you may fall asleep fine on alcohol, but it will hurt the quality of your sleep and you won't wake up as well rested. Number three, naps. I'm not gonna lie, I love naps. But naps are a double-edged sword because they are refreshing and they can give you some energy as long as you keep them somewhere between 15 to 30 minutes. However, they will decrease your sleepiness, which is a good thing, but then it'll make it harder for you to fall asleep at night because you're not sleepy. So if you can, avoid the nap unless the circumstances call for it. Caffeine, get your coffee fix before lunch because caffeine has a half-life of six hours, meaning it can take up to 12 hours for it to be fully eliminated out of your system. And don't forget, caffeine is a diuretic, so it makes you want to pee. Embrace the darkness. Dim your lights. When you have bright lights, it affects your melatonin hormone, and then it makes it more difficult for you to fall asleep and to stay asleep. Two, decrease the amount of blue light exposure you get towards the evening. I'm talking about iPads, iPhones, computers. All of that blue light hurts your melatonin hormone and again makes it difficult for you to fall asleep and stay asleep. Three, make your room cool. And I'm not talking about decorations, I'm talking about the temperature. When you're trying to go to sleep, your body naturally wants to lower its body temperature. If your room is cooler, it'll make it that much easier to fall asleep. Four, hack your bedding. And I'm talking specifically about your sheets. Make sure your sheets are made 100% of cotton. Synthetic fibers will sleep warmer and keep more bacteria on throughout washes. Plus, cotton just feels good to the skin and that breathability, that's clutch. Make sure it's pitch black in the room. Even if you have a candle flickering on the side table, that still affects your sleep. Two, keep your cell phone alerts off. I'm talking about that do not disturb feature. No one should be texting you and waking you up in the middle of the night. Sleep is important and it should be a priority. What happens in case of emergency someone needs to reach me? Well, most of the phones nowadays have a customizable do not disturb feature that allows calls from your contacts to get through, especially if they dial twice. Three. No pets. And this is a tough one for even me to swallow. I love sleeping with Bear Roxy, but the more you sleep with a dog, the more sleep interruptions you get, the worse quality of sleep you're gonna get. Four, the most important point of them all. If after 15 minutes of tossing and turning, you're unable to fall asleep, get out of the bed and do something relaxing, and then try and go back to sleep after 15 minutes. And I'm not talking about checking out social media on your phone. The last thing I want you to do is to have FOMO because your friends are out doing something fun and you're getting ready for the next day at work. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. 
Thanks for listening. 